sort of stick together because we hate each other only slightly less than we hate every other fucker in the world. I'm a pretty classic elder goth. Susie Sue was my first celebrity crush in 1981. I've always had this really strong appreciation for dark. Does everybody else consider me goth? All my friends, all that stuff? Yeah, we'll just say that. We'll run with the fact that everybody else says I'm goth and that my poetry made people cry. <laughs> I'm really not goth. I enjoy the aspect of the music and the dressing up, but when it comes down to it, I don't think I fit the goth template. Whatever your story was, whether you were being beat up, you know, totally ostracized in high school, or whether you were just dissatisfied with fashion, you realize you don't want to wear khaki, you don't want to wear pink, you want to wear black, and you're going to wear black. sort of started out as my friends and I saying, okay, we want to take a cruise, but we don't want to be the only freaks on the ship. You're not going to be the only one with weird hair color on the ship, or you're not going to be the only one with tattoos or piercings. So there's sort of that bonding of, hey, we're, you know, we're a whole big group of freaks. I live in suburban hell. I don't know any of my neighbors' names. It's kind of suburban unfriendliness is where I live. <sighs> I really wish I could put a more positive spin on it. <laughs> I live here with my two teenage daughters, Kylie and Kelsey, and they, uh, well, they're in school right now. They're both high school students. Yeah, been a single parent for about 10 years.